So let's talk about exceptions and delegates. First of all, I had this situation come up where I was trying to add two methods together. But if you notice here, you think the compiler would say, well, we have an action on the left, so then these must be actions. But that's not the order of operations here. Remember, the assignment is like the least worthy of all operators. We want everything to happen on the right first before we assign the, re the final result to our reference here. So what this looks like to the compiler is I'm just adding two methods together and the compiler is confused as saying, hey, I can't add a method to a method. So there's a few ways I can remedy this. I can say new action. I can wrap this up in an action. And now the compiler sees, oh, okay, I have an action plus a method. Well, I can convert this method to an action. So then the compiler wraps this one up in new action. And so that whole expression there will return an action, two chained actions, and then it just, the compiler does it again. It sees, oh, this is an action, this is a method, so I gotta convert this to an action, so on and so forth. So I could go I'll go ahead and add all day long, and that, that pattern will continue. Anyway, I can uh, do what I just did there, new action, or I could cast it, which the compiler just turns around and says, well, that kinda works, I'll just do this for you. So either way, I, I'm gonna do the cast just because it's a little syntactically shorter. It doesn't really matter. Okay, now I've chained up uh, new, be naughty, and goo. They're all in one nice delegate chain. So when I invoke del here, right, uh, del's going to go through this chain. So moo says moo. Uh, but be naughty, it's, it's not very, playing very nice. It's just going to throw an exception. All right, and then we have goo here, which which uh, prints goo. But, but be naughty is in here in the middle, and he's not going to be very nice. He's going to actually throw. So let's run this without debugging, and of course I get the nice error there. It says unhandled exception, system exception. Notice Moo executed just fine, but Goo didn't, right? Just because there's this dude in the middle that's not playing very nice. So that's something to be aware of with actions and delegate chains. There's, there's a, of course, a nice way we can work around this. We can say for each action a in del dot, give me the invocation list, and I'm just going to try here and catch, I guess I should wrap this whole thing up in curlies. I, I generally don't like to, but I know more programmers than, or most programmers like to see this extra set of curlies. Anyway, try, let's say try, try doing whatever A is trying to do. And you know, if something throws up in the middle of there, then we'll just catch it. And, whoops, we'll swallow it. We won't do anything. We could log it here. We could report an error. We could do something more intelligent than just swallowing it. But basically, we're going to allow the each one one by one to execute and if it blows up then we'll just catch anyway let's run this without debugging uh of course of course system exception was handled why oh of course <laughs> i'm invoking it here still so let's get rid of that one okay uh let's run it again here we go moo and go see be naughty be naughty still through in here but we just swallowed up that that result and then moved on and and goo got to run so this is a lot like uh like I showed in the previous video, where we could take the return values and store them uh, in a list or yield return them. Same thing, but instead I'm just putting a try catch around it. If if uh, the invocation list had our arguments, then I could yield return here just as well. Anyway, so there's exceptions and delegates and a little bit of, of uh, why that plus operator wasn't working in the previous video.